Tsunga Thursday, April 22, 2010. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. As today is Earth Day, you may be hearing a lot of scary terms being thrown around. Cryptosporidium, chlorofluorocarbons, global warming. What I have been curious about, however, is the carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is a measure of the impact our activity has on the environment, and in particular, climate change. It relates to the amount of greenhouse gases produced within our day-to-day -day lives, whether it's burning fossil fuels for electricity or heating and transportation. It's measured in tons or kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalent. Each carbon footprint is made from two parts, the primary footprint and the secondary. The primary footprint is a measure of direct CO2 emissions from the burning of fossil fuels, for example, driving your car or taking a flight on a plane. It also includes domestic energy use, electricity and heating in your home. The secondary footprint is a measure of your indirect carbon dioxide emissions. This is associated to every single product that you use and the association to their manufacture and eventual breakdown. The more we buy, the more emissions we cause and the greater our carbon footprint becomes. The nation with the greatest annual average carbon footprint is Qatar, with over 40 tonnes, followed by the United Arab Emirates with 28 tonnes and Kuwait with 25 tonnes. The US is fifth on the list with almost 20 tonnes annually, whereas the average worldwide footprint is only about 4 metric tonnes. To better digest what parts of our lifestyles cause the greatest impact on our personal carbon footprints, there are many services and websites that help to calculate an annual estimate. Carbonfootprint.com asks simple questions about your energy use and then compares your results with the average for your country of residence and with the world target. iCarbonCalc is a free iPhone application that allows you to input the energy you use domestically and in transit. What can you do about it? Similar calculator services like EcoNeutral offer you the chance to offset your carbon footprint. How else? Money. So aside from the obvious, You've probably heard of, or already do, some of the recommended things to prevent excess carbon emissions. It may seem obvious to recycle paper and plastic waste and to turn off lights when you leave a room. But what about your computer? I'm definitely guilty of closing my laptop without powering it down first. And I know I'm not the only one. The average desktop computer with a 17-inch monitor needs between 150 and 350 watts of electricity while being actively used. Leaving that computer on 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, would use over $200 of electricity and would release over one and a half tons of CO2 into the Earth's atmosphere. Turning off your computer, even if it's inactive, for just 10 hours a day can lead to huge savings in carbon emissions. Many other household appliances use electricity even when turned off. When your TV is on standby, it uses what is known as phantom power. To see if your plugged in but turned off appliances are using energy when off, touch the transformer. If it's warm, it's wasting electricity. In the US, it's estimated that 5% of residential electricity is taken by energy vampires. According to the Department of Energy, that wasted 5% amounts to an annual energy loss of 64 million megawatt hours of electricity, which is equivalent to the output of 18 typical power stations and costs over $3 billion. If we could stop the use of phantom power, we could keep 100 billion pounds of CO2 out of the Earth's atmosphere each year. CarbonRally.com challenges people to forget sleep mode and unplug their computers overnight. In my opinion, it's a challenge worth taking. There are obviously other good things you can do, such as buying organic and local produce, installing energy efficient light bulbs, and buying products that use less packaging. But why not start with this? Being aware of your carbon footprint can't reverse the damage done to our environment, but it does help you make smart decisions when conserving energy.